I mean, look at the size of this thing. Yeah, we're off the mark, guys. Seriously, two snakes in one, billions of leeches. Look at these little fellas. Such funny little things. I do not know which species this is. Right here, guys, is uh, an old friend of mine, or should I say, an old foe. Look, guys, look what the gambling video has done. He's only got 144 pounds left in his bank account. Even Spotify's getting declined, Luke. <laughs> I'm not fucking it up this time. How's the quality casket? You going? Yeah. Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to another herping video. This one's gonna be a herping vlog slash challenge video and I'm not gonna lie, the channel, the challenge, <laughs> the challenge is a really complicated one. I've messed that up about five times in a row. It's a channel instead of challenge. But no, the challenge is gonna be to see how many snakes we can find. It's as simple as that. These tropical forests here in the south of Thailand can be pretty damn difficult to find high numbers of snakes. It's not uncommon to have like a three, four snake night down here. So we're gonna hit the forest hard and see if we can get that number as high as possible. It's not gonna be too late of the night. We're gonna wrap up maybe a little after midnight. It's around 8 p.m. now, 8.30 in fact. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Let's see what we find. I got Keith here and Cass is behind the camera again. Let's, go. let's get to it. Also, this turbo boss has come into the forest with shorts, like a forest with leeches, and he just rocked the shorts out tonight. What the boss? Okay, so after quite a hot and sweaty hike, surprisingly so, and billions of leeches, like every five seconds we're stopping to pick leeches off our shoes, ankles, and trousers, which makes it really hard to look around, I'd finally spotted our first snake of the night. I'd say it's been how long have you been walking for? About half an hour, maybe? A bit more. Yeah, possibly a little bit more than that. And you can see in there that is a juvenile Benkulu cat snake. You guys will be very familiar with this species because we encounter it a lot on uh, our trips to Naratiwa. And actually, it's been in a few of my Southern Thailand videos. But let me just gently remove it from this plant, calm it down a little bit. This species is rarely one of the bitey ones, honestly, uh, especially once you calm them down after the first few seconds. He was removing leeches in the background, if you can see that. But uh, one thing I like a lot about this species, which I'm not sure if I've mentioned in other videos, it's one of the few species in the world which has the color pink on it. So if you zoom in on the neck area here, as it tries to bite me, you can see that it has these pink bars and they retain this pink barring even into adulthood. And this one here is a juvenile. Um, not the tiniest juvenile by any means, but still a juvenile. And they begin with this brown pattern with the barring and change generally into a full green coloration. You can see the head of juveniles is uh, of this size is already turning green and they'll slowly change green throughout the body. But this is a very common snake that we see on the channel many times before. So I think we're gonna quickly wrap this up because we're on a challenge to see how many snakes we can find tonight. What the boss guys, this is Keith's lifer as I mentioned. And as we were walking away, I just spotted this moving up here. And right there is the adult of the snake we're looking at. So we're going to get, obviously viewers of my channel would have seen this before, but maybe if you're new to the channel, I mean, look at the size of this thing. This is like, oh, look. Okay, so after 30 minutes of nothing, which by the way is, is, is your usual, very typical. Often you go an hour or more about seeing a snake. Look at this. Adult Benculoensis, juvenile Benculoensis within like three square meters of each other. And how cool is that to see the difference between them of this dark green adult of those pale beigey pink bands and this sort of brownish juvenile with the green just coming in and those more striking pink bands. These adults have such a cool eye. It's like white with constellations of black in it. And as you can see, I picked up this adult on camera in situ and has no inclination to bite at all. Most of the Boigas I catch are very, very non-bitey. That juvenile opened its mouth a couple times but didn't actually bite. And I would be very surprised if this guy tried at all. But uh... early in the night, there's still a lot of time for us to rack up those numbers. So, so I just checked out my ankles after filming that clip with that Benculoensis. And that's, one. That, one's, that last one's off Keith, but those four, first five are off me. Look at these little critters crawling around. <laughs> we must have had collectively at least like 15 to 20, including Cass in the background. Look at these little fellas, such funny little things. Kind of annoying though. So I'm gonna flick these guys away. So we just reached the stream we were trying to get to. And as soon as we got here, I spotted a green viper down by the side of here, but 
I do not know which species this is. Like by the shape of the head, it looks like some kind of, I think it might be the Southern Alba Labris, but the shape of the head looks all wrong. The shape of the head looks more like a, like a Sabahai complex, like Sabahai Fricatus complex. Yeah, that's not, no, that's no way is a white lip. That's no way CF, the uh, undescribed species of Alba Labris. We found something really cool here, guys. This is a species I've certainly never seen before in Tran. And to me, it looks like some kind of, some kind of Fakatus complex female. That is crazy. I mean, it looks like Alba Labris, but if you look at the tail and then you look at the head and see that like more pointed head shape, which doesn't have like the clear sort of yellowish bottom to it, you know that it's something special. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming for a minute and examine this further because this is really cool. All right, so we had a close look, took some photos. I hope you can hear me over the stream, by the way. Uh, and it's definitely a Sabahai complex or what we call here in Thailand, the Fakatus complex, which is the Thai Peninsula Pit Viper, okay? I hope these show up well on the camera. These green snakes can sometimes be really overexposed. So I'm sorry if it is, but take a look. Oh, it's gone defensive for a second. This is something really interesting because I've seen this species in Khao Sok, Nakosi Tamarat province, but here in Klang, where we are right now, never seen this species. From what I know, it shouldn't occur here in these lowland forests. So seeing a female of what's typically a highland mountain species at this, in this southern part of Thailand, this really southern area, is really interesting and uh, definitely very remarkable. This one's just become quite defensive, uh, which usually the species is rather placid, but I've isolated it on the end of this hook. So it's kind of obviously very scared. But if you were to be bitten by this one, it would probably just be very, very painful. You're unlikely to have any serious hematoxic effects, but it would be worth checking into a hospital just to get some blood tests done. But realistically, it's just gonna be very painful. But for sure, I would not want to be bitten by a huge individual like this, but uh, you can probably barely hear me. You can probably barely see the snake and we want to find more species tonight. So we're going to let this very interesting one go and carry on with the night. All right, so just spotted our fourth snake of the night. And I'm going to gently procure it and bring it down for you to see. This is another one which is going to be familiar for viewers of the channel. But not as familiar as you may think. No, this is not the same species we see everywhere in Hua Hin, although it is closely related. This is the regular southern forest dwelling keeled slug snake, Parius carinatus, and it's a lovely juvenile with a it's quite strong banding and a more of an orange coloration. I've uh, listed the differences between these before on the channel. They're mainly like subtle differences, uh, but these ones in the south tend to have more strong banding too. I hope you can see this well. This is a very common snake down here. You guys know that. I see these a lot in the forest at night. It's one of those arboreal species that cruises around and these never bite, literally never. But a good species to see to get the numbers up. We hadn't seen a snake in around, mm, I don't know, an hour. This is maybe the fourth snake in two and a half hours of hiking. So I'd say that's more or less par for walking around the southern forest. Not a great night, not a terrible night, but we could certainly make things a lot better in this following hour or so we have left. So I'm going to put this guy back in the tree and continue with the walk. All right, another snake. And this time it's this lovely Malayan banded, well, no, 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 Malayan bridal snake, Lycodon subannulatus. And I believe this is not the first time we've shown this on the channel, but it's the first time ever seeing the banded morph on the channel. And while this may be the most common morph in places like Malaysia and West, West Malaysia and Borneo, here in Southern Thailand, I find the striped morph far more often. And this lovely sort of golden banded on the forebody and then becomes this net light pattern on the anterior is definitely less commonly seen one. I've seen this far less times and it's only the second time seeing it this year. The other one I saw in the Ratiwat. But uh, yeah, lovely, super cute little snake. One of those harmless species which never bites and it cruises around these trees. Ooh, wait, was it about to bite me? No, no, it was just trying to dig into my 
dig into like a little crevice in my hand. This is one of those species that cruises around the trees eating uh, lizard eggs primarily. And it's, it did definitely just try to bite me then. Okay, I rescind everything I said about this species not biting. It officially does bite. And uh, that probably means I've harassed this one for too long now. And I think it's time to let this beautiful, elegant little snake go back in the trees. So, all right, just caught another snake and it's uh, a Hatella Priscina way up there in a tree. Too high to catch, but adds to our numbers. That's another species for the night. Let's keep going and see what else we can find. So just bending down this branch here, got another oriental vine snake, Hatella Prasina. This time the little brown morph juvenile. Oh, don't, don't freak out. Ooh. Gonna leave it here, of course, but another snake to add. Okay, so I thought our night was over. And honestly, I wasn't sure if we had enough footage to make a full video, so I didn't film an outro. I was kind of counting on finding something on the way home. And while we were zooming down this dark road in rural Trang at night, Holden, there's a car coming, we found something cool. Let's stop for a second to let this car go past and I'll show you what it is. All right, here, guys, is uh, an old friend of mine, or should I say an old foe. This is Trimerosaurus spa or Trimerosaurus C.F. albolabris. And this is an undescribed species of pit viper in the Trimerosaurus albolabris complex, which occurs here in Southern Thailand and probably most abundantly here in Trang province. And if you remember my most viewed video on YouTube, I got tagged right on my left finger here. You can still see it a little bit swollen on the side and those marks there by this species here. Keith was joking about how we should become bite brothers, but man, trust me, I do not recommend it. That was not a fun night in hospital, not by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, I'm gonna get a little bit close to this one. Not quite in striking range, but good enough to show you because I don't think I ever got any good footage of it in the original video. And I'm not even sure if I've shown a white lip pit viper in a single video on my channel since that bite, despite finding so many around Hua Hin. I don't think I was ever filming there. But anyway, Cass, take over the lighting and camera for me, please. All right, so I'm just gonna handle this one because believe it or not, I'm not completely traumatized. Not too traumatized that I can't gently hook this fellow by the tail, but, uh, I'll tell you something interesting. What? I'll tell you guys something interesting. This was actually the first snake I found when I moved to Trang as a 16 year old. I went out cruising on my bike in these rural roads around the edge of town and I found one of these crossing the road. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know how to put the stand down on my bike because I was too panicked and I just tipped the bike over on its side and I was like desperately trying to get it with this stupid little stick I used at the time. But I actually did manage to calm it down and take some pictures. And I found a few of these over my year of living here. Um, it's not super common, not by any means. I say I found only around 10 maybe in that year of living here, but uh, it's certainly one I've become fond of. And they're very different from the Albolabris up north, a much deeper shade of green. The males often have quite prominent sort of dark banding of them, similar to that viper we saw in the forest earlier. And there's a couple other differences which are notable, but generally they're a typical Albolabris viper. But uh, I definitely like the darker shade of green. And when this one does get described as a new species, I will certainly be quite happy about that and will be happy to have its own name and to recognize these southern ones as their own species. But uh, it's super late, guys. It's 1 a.m. in the morning, possibly past that. And Cass and Keith are very tired. And I'm not going to lie, I need some sleep too. I've got a very big week ahead of me. So let's let this guy go back in the bushes and get going. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We saw a decent number of snakes tonight. A very decent number. Decent diversity too. I'm pretty happy. So uh, yeah, good night in uh, back in my old hometown of Thailand.